Good morning, and once again, it's time for me to go through the games I got, and this is for January, I mean February, even though we're in March, uh, I'm a little behind on uh, getting, get, getting this out, so my apologies. Uh, so before we get started, if you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button down below there. And uh, if you want to get notified whenever I post and you get notified right away, click that bell button after you subscribe. Uh, and don't forget to like and share or dislike and don't share. Uh, either way, it does help me to know what's going on. So let's get started. My first game is International Soccer by M Network for the Atari 2600. Uh, I am going for an entire collection of the uh, M Network and iMagic and Activision games for the Atari. Eventually, I, I may get all the games for the Atari. I don't know that I want to do that though, because there are a lot of bad games, and there, there are games I'm not really going to play. And I really do play all the games in my collection, but I do want to get all of the Intellivision, uh, Activision. In network, and uh, I forgot the last one. In network, Activision, and iMagic games for the Atari 2600. Good or bad, I would like to have those co complete collections. One of the reasons was that they did far superior graphics in games than Atari themselves was doing at the time. Uh, the soccer had multiple characters on the screen and almost there there was very random flickering uh, that I recall because I, I have played this um, but th they had colorful sprites and, and as opposed to solid color sprites as, with the with the Atari especially iMagic iMagic had very colorful characters Activision just had really really fun games uh, so I am shooting get that whole collection and uh, I'll, I'll post a video of my collection so far of the a Activision and Atari games. Some of my Activision games need labels. I am going to do a label restoration uh, how to produce reproduction labels for the end and uh, faces. In Network only had end because this is literally and if, for those of you who don't know, M Network was Mattel, who was in television. So the these cartridges are actually in television cartridges that they slapped uh, this kind of thing on to make them that way. I guess it was probably a penny to do this. And this game is dusty. It's going to need some cleaning before it goes into the system. All right, and next up, Defender Two for the NES. Uh, this is actually in the arcades, it was called Stargate. It's a, it's a fun game. Uh, I was When I saw this, I, I snatched it up. Uh, I've been wanting it in my collection for some time. It's a really, really fun game. Uh, you've probably seen that uh, I've posted a video already of me playing this game. Uh, because I got it like in the middle of January. Like I said, I'm behind on this post. I apologize. Uh, it's, I was waiting on something to come in from Amazon that I ordered. And there will be a video on this one soon, which is a complete mint inbox Super Huey for the Atari 7800. This did come in the original shrink wrap. And for you diehard collectors out there, yes, I did take it out. And I did open the package. And I took out the game. and Because I did want to test it. Um, it is a, it is a uh, game I played at my buddy's house on the Commodore 64. My buddy James, when we were kids, had a Commodore 64. And... Uh, so we played this because we like those flight simulator type games and I always wanted it on my Atari computer but I never got it um, 
but on the uh, it, I saw this online and I got it for uh, a, a pretty good deal so I, I really like that so next up is Toy Story Mania for the Wii uh, I got this uh, my nephew and I were playing the Wii and we had a lot of fun and so I got us more games to play uh, I honestly have not played this but it was a good good condition uh, it's for a kids game it's I mean no sh if you can see they're like no scratches at all it's like a brand new game and for the couple bucks I spent it was worth it Next up is Marvel Superhero Squad Comic Combat for the U-Draw. The U-Draw was a tablet. Hang on. I'll be right back. This is the U-Draw, which is a drawing tablet that they created for, uh, I think, a, a few systems, uh, if, if I'm not mistaken. But I got, it was mint, brand new inbox. Uh, so I picked it up. It was, it was really, really cheap. Uh, and so, once again, my, my nephew was over, and so we got the U-Draw. I, I bought this game for him because he loves the superheroes um, and they're very cartoony it's based on the little like Fisher Price I think made the little action figures uh, it's it's a lot of fun uh, I played it w with him and, and sat down with him and he he was just he was on this for well over an hour he just loved being Thor and the Scarlet Witch and Iron Man and was just was just going to town. It was really fun. And it comes with what you do is you use this big old pin and wherever you touch on the screen, this actually represents the screen of the TV. So if you're this would be the lower right corner of the screen or the lower left, upper left, middle. So wherever you touch it goes and that's how you played was you just touch the screen and told the characters where to go. And you can store the pin up here, like a drawing tablet, or down here in the back, where and the nut and your Wii controller goes in here, and it, it, there's a plug that plugs into it in there. Um, once again, this was I picked this up a while ago, um, and uh, I just I hadn't really done anything with it until I bought uh, this game, which I saw, it was like a, a buck or two. And uh, they, they totally loved it. Um, I do need to get a black Wiimote so that it looks really nice. Uh, sorry, I, I like, <laughs> so I want a black Wiimote. I like, I like the colors being there. Um, I also got a donation to the channel. John Romero's Daikatana. Um, this is an old PC box game. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, John Romero was with id Software and did wonderful games such as Doom. Uh, so as you can see, it's, it's, it's mint in box. Thank you, Brandon, for uh, giving this to me. Um, I will be setting up a system to play this because the requirements are, where are the requirements? Oh yes, this is when they were putting them on the bottom of the box. It was a 233 megahertz processor or equivalent Pentium, a Pentium. We're going back up at Windows 95, 98 or NT. 32 megs of RAM, 200 megabytes of uncompressed disk space. It's recommended that you have a Pentium 2 
and a you know, with a 300 megahertz processor, 64 gigs of RAM, and a 400 megabyte uncompressed hard drive. Uh, I am going to be one of the projects I have is to build a Windows 95 machine. I have a Sony Vio Media uh, station. Uh, it has you know video in and all that stuff. It's a Windows 95 box, and it was off in the corner of my my company's uh, data center for like the longest time. And they were going to check it, and I said, "No, I'm going to take it. Uh, it needs work. I'm going to have to get in there and clean it out because it's old. I mean, Windows 95. Uh, you know, it's 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 got some age on it. So." Look forward to seeing this played on that sometime in the near future. I also picked up, wait for it, wait for it, another Wii. Yes, I already have a Wii. You may say, well, why do you get another one? Um, I'm going to do a mod on this one so that I can play uh, all the WiiWare games and other things um, that you can't get anymore since the WiiWare store is closed. Um, so we picked this up cheap. It came with two games, uh, Wii Sports, which was a Pac-Man game, and Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Uh, I'll probably bomb at that one. But uh, I did do that. It came with all the cables, a Wiimote and a nunchuck. Um, they were wanting to get rid of it. And I don't know what it is, but whenever I buy or I see a Wii, this door is gone. There, I cannot get or find a Wii with this door. I'm looking to see if they have replacements. I would like to have a, the replacement for the door. Because uh, this one does play the GameCube games. Um, which was another reason we got it. Uh, but I am going to do a mod on this. I don't know that if I'm going to do a video on the mod because we there are a lot of them out there. But there is a way uh, to do mods on these. So that is the end of my game haul and, well, my game stuff in general for... G February, I can't want to say January, February, because it, it, we're in March now, uh, and I, I really, I, I, I can't wait to get Super Huey going. Um, it wasn't the best flight simulator, but at the time, it was, it was, it was a really good flight simulator uh, for the era, because it was, you know, we're talking the 80s now, the systems weren't as powerful then. Um, I believe I can download it on my Atari, and I may do that comparison. Uh, how does the Atari 8-bit version, um, if it, I believe there was a version for it, compare to the uh, Atari 7800 version? Um, what's the differences? Are there any differences? I, I don't know. I really don't. Uh, once again, thank you for joining me, and uh, I really do appreciate comments and uh, likes and dislikes. If you don't like what I do, let me know. Um, tell me in the comments. Uh, have you played any of these games? Uh, let me know down in the comments. And thank you, and have a wonderful day.